really a great pleasure to be here, introduce uh, what we see the opportunity about the Internet of Things. And also I want to introduce uh, some approach that we want to you know, embrace this uh, great opportunity for media tech. So it's an uh, um, afternoon, so a little bit challenging. I try to make my speech a little bit active, <laughs> make people <so> aware <laughs> what I'm saying. So I think most of the people here already recognize this is our big opportunities after the mobile internet, after the, you know, the, the big things, after the mobile internet will be internet of things. So from our you know, research and study during the past 20 years, we understand you know, from PC, you know, every home has a PC as a unit. Then uh, every people have this mobile phone. What's next? We really see some of our customer and partner really developed some good and cool things and make a lot of connected things around each of the people. So we see the market opportunity down the road will be multiple connected devices around each of the individual. That's why we see the opportunity will be you know, maybe several tens of a billion connected things. That's huge, very huge opportunity for all of us. And, you know, Internet of Things is not a, a new term. You know, during the past uh, several years, we do see some trigger um, uh, points that uh, that's the Internet of Things booming. Uh, but uh, what we observe, actually, we see a lot of uh, uh, use cases actually greatly leverage the uh, mobile phone because uh, the smartphone actually really changed people's living style. You know, most of us has already you know, accustomed to utilize our mobile phone to do many of uh, you know, uh, remote controls at home, at your move, and also at uh, your working places. So we see a lot of uh, connected things, applications, and some different kind of uh, system integrations, uh, and provided it uh, for different kind of uh, services behind them. So What's the value actually the Internet of Things provided? Just uh, some Internet company or Internet of Things companies uh, examples here. Uh, for example, like uh, uh, Uber, actually, you know, they are the world's largest taxi company, but they don't have any taxi for them. So what's, what's the value they provide? We see the value that they provide is actually try to you know, match the demand and the supply side maximize all the assets utilization and provide the value for the sharing economics. So all the other company here like Facebook, Alibaba, and Airbnb, they do similar concepts. So we see some essential technology behind them. That is a connectivity. So connectivity technology actually drive the value that this company deliver. Of course, you know, connectivity itself is not uh, the most value for these you no know, ecosystem. However, this is uh, essential to drive all the internet things, business behind them. So, MediaTek, as a semiconductor company, what's our role in the Internet of Things supply chain? So, the supply chain itself is is quite complicated compared to some other you know, mature, more mature uh, consumer products like a mobile phone. The Internet of Things needs some device makers, semiconductor provider, and also some communication service, big data analytics, and finally, the application services behind them. So the supply chain itself is quite complicated. And our role actually trying to provide good enough you know, devices, semiconductor, to enable, enable those connectivity and the computing capability, and also some networking functions. So we do provide committed to provide a great, very good connectivity and some, you know, we call the simple or rich computing capability platforms for all kinds of uh, internet of thing application devices. So what's our strategy to enter this uh, very great and very big opportunity market here? So we want to provide some approaches that greatly leverage you know, our strengths that we built during the several, ten, uh, several years. The first strategy we said is uh, greatly leverage our mobile solution and ecosystem. There are three aspects I want to emphasize here. 
First of all, you know, we want to leverage the massive developers. During the past 10 years, actually, MediaTek has already built quite good foundation for the mobile phone ecosystem. A lot of uh, 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 device makers, okay, ODM makers, and uh, the integrated design houses, and also some software partner and sensor or some other component providers you know, surrounding us, providing very good solution for the mobile phone. And we see a lot of this company right now become a provider for Internet of Things developers as well. So those are very good foundation that we can leverage and it become a very massive developers to enhance our you know, approach to the Internet of Things potential markets. And also we bring quite good mobile experiences technology into the Internet of Things as well. So we see the similar technology for like wireless connectivity, always sound sensing technology and some multimedia technology as well. And the third phase we see is an economic scale. There are so many different kinds of internet of things applications, but each of them right now, nowadays, still not very big enough. So for many of our, you know, the same industrial semiconductor partner, uh, competitor, they want to provide some solution, but they don't have any support from the, the scale of the economics. But the MediaTek actually every year we ship like hundreds of uh, smartphone chipsets, feature phone chipset, as you can support you now this kind of scale to many different kind of applications using the same or similar technology or product. So highly performance at the low power that we provide for mobile phone actually can be adopted for many of the Internet of Things applications as well. So wireless connectivity is essential that actually greatly leverage from our you know, mobile industrial products and technology as well. You know, the next strategy we see is uh, how do we enter the market? There are so many different kinds of uh, vertical applications in the Internet of Things. MediaTek as a uh, you know, key player in the consumer domain, consumer application domain, we do want to enlarge our influential power starting from the you know, consumer domain first. So we see you know, our mobile phone partner, customer, they are doing something like a wearable. A lot of a company that we can, we already have a customer base that we help them to building some wearable solution, starting from the mobile solution. And also we have a many good foundation in the TV set up box business. And some partner they do want to have the smart homes or smart home solution. Uh, so we have a quite good connection with them and provide a good solution, starting from you know, our connection with the TV, those players then transfer them to uh, the smart home solution. And also MediaTek has uh, quite good uh, GPS solution and some navigation solution as well. We started from that and try to build some telematic solution for those customer and business uh, connection to su supply a connected car solution as well. So we do see that uh, we have some good foundation customer and technology that we can leverage to challenge those uh, you know, key area that we want to focus first. Of course, our technology and product can be leveraged to some other IoT application, like a healthcare, industrial application, smart retailing as well. But we would like to aggregate the potential um, business in consumer domain first. The third thing that we want to you now say is uh, MediaTek is quite gross you know, IP and the product offering in the mobile already. So we do have a quite good uh, um, hardware, CPU, or connectivity solution, including Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, NFC, all kinds of uh, connectivity that are already adopted in the mobile phone. And we integrated and, and tried to leverage most of the products, building and become a more power, you know, less power solution and higher performance in the computing power. And also you know, try to leverage some premium the multimedia technology to make them become very attractive to offer to the IoT application as well. For example, that uh, last year, we actually leveraged our feature phone solution and added some content, uh, IP uh, content for Bluetooth LE that make it become very attractive for, for many of the uh, smartwatch applications 
that is uh, one great uh, example to say that uh, we make it the, the, the world's smallest form factor of chipsets and also the highest, uh, the highest uh, functionality and complexity for the use uh, for the smartphone, uh, smartwatch. So we are, we are leading actually in depth and the breadth in technology wise. So we can leverage, the, uh, leverage these uh, IP portfolio to make some very good solution in the IoT domain. So in summary, that's uh, our strategy to provide to the IoT actually want to capture the value here. As in summary, that uh, uh, one is to orchestrate uh, the ecosystem to build partnership with many of the partners, including the internet uh, cloud partner and some customer in different uh, vertical domain. And also, uh, we would like to focus firstly on the, uh, on the consumer domain, like a smartwatch, fitness uh, accessory, uh, home automation, and home uh, appliances, uh, asset tracking and telematics, etc. Like we said, uh, for the wearable and smart home and some connected card applications. And we want to leverage our breadth and the depth in the IP and products that we built in the mobile uh, industry to bring some more innovative solution and make it easier for our customer and developer to easily access our products, our technology, to build some very cool, very good solution or products into the IoT application domains. So something like a Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, cellular, um, we do offer for different kind of uh, you know, application right now. So you do see some um, demos data. You can see that uh, uh, real things are outside the hole. It's really a uh, good demonstration to see that. So lastly, but not leastly, actually you want to, very happy to, to announce that uh, uh, we have already uh, uh, builds uh, the uh, uh, Apple Home Kit uh, software developing kit uh, for our two products. And one is uh, we call the 7687. Uh, uh, that is uh, Wi Fi STA uh, SOC uh, with uh, lower power and for some simpler application based on the real time OS system. That is quite good, suitable uh, for the application for thermal state. Uh, door lock and power proc, something like that. And also we have uh, some um, solution we call the 7688. It's a uh, higher performance with higher CPU capability to handle some um, multimedia richer uh, application, something like uh, audio video streaming for like a gateway uh, speaker or web camera for home security application. So actually, now, building partnership with Apple and in embrace the ecosystem home kits is kind of an approach that we want to you know, leverage uh, to enhance our opportunity in the IoT domain so that uh, we can provide some good solution and product to the iOS ecosystem developer, easily develop their product and become a very you know, useful security connect to the iPhone or iPads or like Apple Watches. But this is really not the only thing that we do uh, for our um, you know, strategy in the smart home. We also partner with uh, several different kinds of uh, partners, like a retail brand. We do have uh, some business with uh, some brand like a Belkin, Brolink, and D-Link. And also we work uh, with uh, HomeKit and also some other uh, like uh, OIC and Threat. So we work with a multiple of the standard uh, or ecosystem partners to build in a good solution and try to enhance or you know, broaden our business opportunity over there. For the cloud partner, we also work with uh, some you know, Western company or Chinese company that provide different kinds of uh, cloud or platform services for the IoT system. And also we have uh, some appliance, home appliance companies as our partner and customer that we provide to enhance the, the smart home experiences in the IoT applications. So that's uh, you know, the last page for my slides, and I'm really happy to introduce uh, you know, very high level strategy for our IoT. And I hope I can have uh, some discussion with you. If you have any question later on, then we can chat for that.